Now, your first warm weather forecast with meteorologist Joey Marino. Good morning, everybody. After a break from the heavier rainfall from this morning, we're starting to see a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms pop up in our southwestern and western areas. Taking a live look at our SkyTrack camera over the Park Hills Golf Course out in Freeport. One of those spots that's seeing more rainfall as we head into the mid-morning hours. Freeport already over an inch of rainfall from this morning. 2.54 inches here in Rockford. The rest of the area between three quarters of an inch and an inch of rainfall. Now we are going to add on to that as we head into the mid to late morning hours already starting to see more activity off to the southwest near Davenport along Interstate 88. Scattered showers and thunderstorms heading to the Rockford area could hear a few rumbles of thunder over the next hour to two hours. Now you can see just how expansive all this moisture is this morning as you see more activity starting to spark up in central and eastern Iowa. That's going to be making its way northeast as we go throughout the next couple of hours towards midday. So the rest of the day expect scattered shower and thunderstorm chances. But this morning is when we're going to see the heaviest. Now, as we take a look at future cast going into this afternoon, you can see that we're going to get a bit more of a break from the rainfall after three o'clock, but we're going to anticipate a few more scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon and evening. So that's why you won't need the rain gear all day, but it's going to be a really great idea to have it alongside you just in case we do have a few more scattered showers by this afternoon and evening. Also tonight features scattered showers as we head into Wednesday morning should see a break by sunrise, but we're going to keep chances pretty isolated as we head into the afternoon tomorrow. That front that's sparking up the rainfall this morning will also bring in a little bit more moisture in for tomorrow afternoon, and that's why we do keep chances pretty scattered as we head into Wednesday afternoon. Now it's going to be pretty windy this afternoon as well. Wind gusts upwards of 25 to 30 miles per hour as we head from 4 o'clock this afternoon into 8 o'clock this evening. Wind should slowly die down as we head into the night tonight, but staying breezy. Now the seven day forecast temperatures stay pretty fall like as we head into Wednesday. Periodic shower Showers throughout the day, isolated showers for Thursday, warming back into the low 70s by this upcoming weekend. Back to you. All right, thanks so much.